Hello fans of Site42, I'm going to go ahead and finish off this list of things Bright is not allowed to do at the Foundation. Nobody ever refers to Dr. Bright as Tim, and he is no longer allowed to introduce new personnel to SCP-524. The platypus is not an SCP. No, not even an explained one. Dr. Bright is not allowed to test internet creepypasta rights using D-Class personnel. SCP-963 is not a Millennium item. Dr. Bright should refrain from trying to convince SCP-237 to become a brony, not even to improve his disposition. For that matter, trying to make SCP-042 a brony will just make things worse. Putting an equine, no matter how small, through SCP-914 on very fine is strictly forbidden. And no, you cannot keep it. The answer to a containment breach is never to recruit a team of teenagers with attitude, or send five rings to five special young people, or to ask junior staffers if they are bad enough dudes to contain the breach. Dr. Bright is not allowed to claim he has been trained to conquer galaxies. Dr. Bright may not attempt to neutralize SCP-682 using the power of friendship, the power of love, or any other sort of power which has not been proven to actually exist. Dr. Bright does not remind anyone of the babe with the power of voodoo, and is not allowed to tell anyone else that they remind him of the same. The Chaos Insurgency has no interest in summoning demons to the material universe to serve the ruinous power of chaos, and therefore Dr. Bright is not allowed to inform new researchers otherwise. Dr. Bright is not allowed to use SCP-582 in order to deal with junior staff members who get on his nerves. Dr. Bright is not allowed to stick refrigerator magnets to any objects under Foundation control. SCP-1916 only works if administered orally. We know this. There is no reason to test further Dr. Bright. The real doll Dr. Bright purchased does not have a security clearance, not even if it writes reports better than Dr. Kondraki. Why not is not considered authorization for SCP cross-testing. The Foundation has no mobile task force dedicated to the capture and containment of forum trolls. Dr. Bright is not allowed to found a new mobile task force dedicated to the capture and containment of forum trolls. The Serpent's Hand is not a synonym for masturbation. Yo Mama is not so ugly 096 didn't look at her. SCP-173 is not a babysitter. Having SCP-173 play Where's the Baby is downright cruel, not, as Dr. Bright claims, fucking hilarious. Dr. Bright is no longer invited to the annual Foundation holiday party. Dr. Bright is no longer allowed to host his own Foundation holiday party. In fact, the Foundation holiday party is cancelled indefinitely. SCP-682 does not have a Wondertainment logo stamped on its upper palate, nor on its posterior. Playing the song Thriller in the presence of SCP-008 victims is expressly forbidden. Letting out SCP-008 victims and punching them to simulate Minecraft is also forbidden. Pushing several agents in front of SCP-008 victims to simulate Resident Evil is not a valid excuse either. Actually, let's just make a rule that Dr. Bright is no longer allowed near victims of SCP-008. SCP-682 will not be satiated by the ritual sacrifice of a virgin. Filming, directing, or performing in celebrity sex tapes are not appropriate work assignments for Mr. Deeds. Dr. Bright is not allowed to do anything involving the words elephant sauce. Site-19 is still recovering from the last incident. I like a little junk in the trunk is not valid authorization to feed SCP-1575-1 to an elephant. Dr. Bright is under no circumstances to attempt possession of SCP-682. I touched SCP-1453 a little while ago is not a valid excuse for any containment breach. No shirt, no shoes, no service does not imply that pants and undergarments are not required parts of the dress code. And doubly so, since no shirt, no shoes, no service is not actually a part of any official Foundation dress code. Dr. Bright is not allowed to use this list as a resume. Dr. Bright may not begin his sentences with Thou shalt not in the presence of SCP-343. Dr. Bright is not allowed to recreate any experiment seen on the television program Mythbusters using any SCP, especially not if he can do it better. Regardless of whether or not it exists, Dr. Bright certainly does not enjoy diplomatic immunity as the local consul of the Islamic Republic of Eastern Samothrace. Dr. Bright is not allowed to put SCP-278 into SCP-914 on course, so I can learn to make more of them. Dr. Bright is not allowed to transfer, copy, upgrade, or relocate SCP-079 on any form of high-capacity data storage device. SCP-1156 is not Dr. Bright's royal steed. Dr. Bright is not allowed to use SCP-1543-J to launch SCP-727-J into itself again. Even if Dr. Bright is wearing an eye patch, he is not allowed to keelhaul anyone. Not even on Talk Like a Pirate Day. Talk Like a Pirate Day is no longer allowed to be celebrated at Site-19. Any personnel violating this rule will be severely disciplined. Also, there's no such thing as Talk Like a Ninja Day, and Dr. Bright is not allowed to create it. Introducing SCP-682 to SCP-002 just to see what happens is not recommended. Don't even think about it. 
Dr. Bright is not allowed to interview new personnel, even if they ask for him. Dr. Bright is not Kenny. We will also ask new researchers and Dr. Bright to stop referring to himself as such. Dr. Bright is not allowed to play SCP Roulette with SCP-173, a light switch, and any combination of D-Class or new personnel. Dr. Bright is not allowed to ask SCP-738, what would you want in exchange for not making a deal with me? Dr. Bright works for the SCP Foundation, not the Terminus Foundation. He does not possess a degree in psychohistory, and no group of interest is the second foundation. The fact that SCP-682 regenerates all lost tissue does not make it an infinite hamburgers machine. Mostly because they tasted horrible. Dr. Bright is not allowed to use SCP-127 to place projectiles under his pillow for the Tooth Fairy to give him money. Dr. Bright is not allowed to use SCP-252-ARC on any person or organization affiliated with the Westboro Baptist Church. And Dr. Bright is not allowed to attempt to sick the Horizon Initiative on the above religious organization. Dr. Bright may not request a pool of D-Class recruited solely from the members of the above religious organization. The Manitou Charitable Foundation does not host an annual Labor Day telethon. And Dr. Bright is not allowed to offer the services of Foundation employees as performers or phone bank operators for such. Dr. Bright is not allowed to access to Popular Science Magazine now that they've shown him how to create cyborg cockroaches. Dr. Bright is not allowed to go on a crusade or a jihad. Dr. Bright is not permitted to use fatwas against anyone or anything. Dr. Bright is no longer allowed to declare, After 10,000 years, I am free! It's time to conquer Earth! After assuming a new host. All Foundation personnel are required to attend a seminar on the difference between an original idea and a good idea before being allowed new or continuing contact with Dr. Bright, Dr. Clef, or Dr. Kondraki. Dr. Bright does not have 10 tons of gold hidden somewhere at Site-19. SCP-963 is not to be given away as a good luck charm. Dr. Bright is not a wizard, no matter what he might tell you. He's not an alchemist either, and is not to be consulted regarding alchemical issues. He's also not a witch. And Dr. Bright is not magic and cannot perform magic and must give sufficient explanation for any actions he undertakes. Dr. Bright is not, nor has he ever been, the undisputed SCP Intercontinental Champion. Dr. Bright is no longer allowed to run through Site-19 while screaming, The Keter is loose, unless it's an actual emergency. Also, claiming it's for the research on the effects of social engineering is not an emergency. Nor is using it to clear out the areas Dr. Bright is otherwise restricted from entering due to reasons given on this list. And Dr. Bright may not start referring to any persons or SCPs as The Keter in order to circumvent these rules unless they are actually classified as Keter. Dr. Bright is not allowed to perform any tests or experiments utilizing the reproductive organs of any dead or living being, including himself. Dr. Bright may not tell anyone that SCP-920 will show them to their quarters. At least, not again. Dr. Bright may never attempt to ingest SCP-184 to win a pie-eating contest, nor any other kind of eating or drinking contest. After what happened last month, Dr. Bright is not allowed to watch Firefly ever again. I think most of the people involved, that are still alive, are still in the psychiatric ward. Dr. Bright is not a reaver and may not handle any form of sharp tool unless under protection of at least two L3 guards armed with stun guns. Dr. Bright is not allowed to come within five meters of any explosive device, not even if Dr. Iceberg asks nicely. Trying to blow up 682 is not a valid excuse. Attempting to make shadow puppets with SCP-017 is forbidden, and trying to entertain SCP-053 is not a valid excuse. Dr. Bright is no longer allowed to stand in a corner and twiddle his thumbs. Dr. Bright is no longer allowed to use the words swag, swagget, swaginator, swagify, or super swag to define himself or any other persons. YOLO is not an excuse for anything, most especially because it doesn't apply to him. And neither is why not. And Dr. Bright is not allowed to ask anybody ever to play a game of patty cake with SCP-049. Dr. Bright is not allowed to ask Mr. Deeds to do any of the things on this list. Dr. Bright is not allowed to bring food into a restroom. Dr. Bright is not allowed to speak in a voice resembling a movie character. Dr. Bright is not allowed to reenact any movie, even G-rated ones. Dr. Bright is not allowed to do anything relating to the sport of cheerleading. SCP-957 is not a prerequisite to becoming possessed by Dr. Bright. Dr. Bright is no longer allowed to say, Everything the Bright touches is our kingdom. Dr. Bright is not allowed to digitally enhance any of the original Star Wars movies. Dr. Bright is not allowed to advertise himself on online dating services. Dr. Bright is not allowed to use this list as a to-do list. Dr. Bright is not L. Ron Hubbard incarnate and is not allowed to tell personnel otherwise. Dr. Bright is not Sherlock Holmes and is not allowed to say what he thinks a person's appearance means about them to any reality-bending SCP. Dr. Bright is not allowed to cause a containment breach of any kind just so he can have a case. 
Neither is he allowed to convince anyone to be his Watson. Dr. Bright may not urge bereaved staff members to look at the bright side, nor is he allowed to refer to any of his ideas as his bright ideas. Dr. Bright is not allowed to use SCP-1994-J with Dr. Kane. Hours of actual productive research are now unrecoverable. Dr. Bright is not allowed to play chicken with any members of any department. Dr. Bright is not allowed to order the works from the cafeteria. Dr. Bright is not allowed to put anything on his tab. Dr. Bright is no longer allowed to commit seppuku, even if he has an audience, and especially a captive one. Dr. Bright is not in possession of any of the following. A bright mobile, bright orangs, a bright claw, a bright suit, or a baseball bright. Dr. Bright is not allowed to yell to the bright cave. Dr. Bright is no longer allowed to sing Silent Night following the All is Bright incident. Dr. Bright is no longer allowed to commission, produce, advertise, or display animated videos to anyone with the subject, What happens when you fuck up containing SCPs? And no, it's not educational, Bright, not the way you show it. Dr. Bright is not allowed funding to replicate the experiments of Dr. Krieger from Archer. Dr. Bright is not allowed to convince people to replicate his famous high dive into SCP-120. Actually, you know what? He's not allowed to talk about his famous high dive into SCP-120. Dr. Bright is not allowed to be referred to as Rainbow Bright. Dr. Bright is not allowed access to infants for the purposes of becoming the Baby New Year. Dr. Bright is not allowed to create a Things Dr. Bright is allowed to do at the Foundation list by listing everything that isn't on this list. Just because it isn't on this list doesn't mean you should do it. He may, however, request for one to be created. He may not, however, suggest what should be on said list. Dr. Bright is not to attempt to neutralize SCP-1013 just because he can do Fluttershy's stare. Dr. Bright may not create an infinite logical loop. Dr. Bright is not troll Jigus, no matter how much candy corn he steals. There is no such department as the Bright Ideas Department, and if one did exist, Dr. Bright would not be in charge of it. Dr. Bright is not allowed to throw himself through a window to prove that glass is unbreakable. Dr. Bright is not allowed to convince anybody to cough in front of SCP-049. Dr. Bright is not allowed to use any green dyes for the purposes of being creative. Because reasons will no longer be accepted as a viable excuse for removing any SCP from containment. Dr. Bright may not refer to anyone as a peasant. Dr. Bright is not allowed to convince anyone that shouting, Bing bong, bring it on, while ringing SCP-513 will negate its effect. Dr. Bright is not allowed to arrange gladiatorial arena combat between D-Class, especially with SCPs as weapons. SCP-173 does not just want a hug, and Dr. Bright should not attempt to convince anyone otherwise. Because there's an alternate universe me who wouldn't do it is no longer a valid reason for violating containment procedures. Dr. Bright is not allowed to attack instances of SCP-217 claiming the Borg have attacked. Dr. Bright is no longer allowed to recreate the Harlem Shake video. Dr. Bright is not allowed to start any drag races between D-Classes in Cars and SCP-096. Dr. Bright is not allowed to reenact any scene from Pulp Fiction. Dr. Bright is not allowed to convince anyone to have a friendly staring contest with SCP-096. Dr. Bright is not allowed to open SCP-1025 to random pages in front of anyone. Dr. Bright is not allowed to dare anyone to finish SCP-1997. Dr. Bright is not allowed to send a slinky down SCP-087. Dr. Bright is not allowed to use SCP-884 for shaving purposes, nor for any other personal care purposes, nor for any non-approved purposes whatsoever, especially not for the purpose of making people doubt that he's not allowed to use it. Dr. Bright is not allowed to tell New Foundation recruits fictional horror stories involving his family, nor is he allowed to tell New Foundation recruits factual horror stories involving his family. He is definitely not allowed to edit this list just to mess with people on Tumblr. Dr. Bright is not allowed to talk about Bottle Dick especially not over the site intercom, loudspeaker, megaphone, group chat, email, or any other device intended to speak to a large number of people at the same time. For the love of God, man, stop wrapping bows around Aquafina bottles and sending them gift-wrapped with loving sonnets on it. It was funny. Once. Stop. Also, you really aren't allowed to edit the list to mess with people on Tumblr. And that is the list of things Dr. Bright is not allowed to do at the Foundation. If you look on the screen right now, you can see a video from Site42 or another video from my own channel. You can click that and you can follow through and subscribe to me. And make sure you subscribe to Site42 as well. Thank you very much for watching.